Work to complete the archaeological data of Kedah Tua civilization in Sungai Batu has hit a snag from a combination of the COVID-19 pandemic and the lack of funds. University Science Malaysia, or USM, Global Archaeology Research Centre Director, Professor Datuk Dr. Mohamad Mokhtar Saidin said, the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed down excavations at Sungai Batu sites and other Lembah Bujang areas since March last year. He said Sungai Batu must have continuous financial assistance as it is vital for researchers to complete cataloging the data on the Kedah Tua civilization. Currently, the research team working at Lembah Bujang sites has been getting a 500,000 ringgit grant from USM annually since 2009. On ancient shipwrecks at Sungai Batu, Mohamed Mokhtar said there was no more work at the sites where the first shipwreck was unearthed in 2011. He said more than 20 million ringgit was needed to excavate the ships from the ancient river that once was about 100 meter wide and 30 meter deep. The river is now but a stream cutting through oil palm plantations. He said if the needed funds could be approved, the shipwrecks can only be excavated but cannot be moved to a different site as the oxidation and decaying process would be accelerated, thus destroying the artifacts. As of now, the outlines of five ships were identified lying 10 meters below ground at the Sungai Batu archaeological site using special scanners. USM field researcher Dr. Muhammad Hasfari Sham Abdul Halim said the Sungai Batu archaeological site was about 4 square kilometers with 97 excavated sites so far. The complex served four main functions for rituals, a jetty, administrative buildings, and iron smelting sites. So far, 55 sites are open for public viewing and the remaining sites are still under excavation. Local licensed tour guide Mohamed Faizi Syed said no one can visit the site under the movement control order. He added that up to 2,000 people used to visit every month and urged the relevant authorities to act fast to revive the place and make it a global archaeotourism product. Tanjong Dawai Assemblyman Hanif Ghazali said the state government was committed to getting Sungai Batu recognised as a world historic site. He dismissed rumours on social media that the state government is moving the USM research team out from the two buildings constructed by the team on state government land. Gazetted in 2017, Sungai Batu is the site of the oldest civilization in Southeast Asia, with the discovery of iron smelting sites and other ruins dating to as early as 788 BC.